Hello and welcome to Reach Daily Devotions. My name is George Bushbeck. I'm based here in Leicester and I will be sharing this morning from Matthew chapter 5. If you'd like to pause this video, we've got a worship song uh, in the description just below where you can worship with us this morning and then come back to this devotion. Welcome back. I wanted to share with you this morning from the book of Matthew chapter 5 and one particular phrase that's repeated many times and really just stuck out to me today. That phrase is, you have heard that it was said and it's also followed up by the phrase, but I tell you. One example of this comes from verse 21 and 22 where Jesus says, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. I could have picked any number of verses in the passage, and I'd encourage you, if you have the time, to go take a look at more of them. I think the reason that you have heard that it was said stuck out to me so much is that this conversation really shows the difference between what Jesus is teaching people versus what Pharisees have been teaching people. Where the Jewish law demanded strict adherence to many rules and regulations, Jesus is actually raising the bar. He's actually making it more difficult. He's saying that, well, you say, if you murder someone, there'll be judgment, but I'm saying if you, if you hate a brother or sister, that's enough. You say if you commit adultery, then that's, that's wrong. I'm saying if you even look lustfully at a woman, he's raising the bar, he's making it more difficult. And I'm betting the Pharisees felt more than a little uncomfortable at what Jesus was saying here. Their whole lives were devoted to these rules and regulations and to the, the following of them. And Jesus is saying that's not enough. It's not enough. Those words, you have heard that it was said. Your history, your stories, the very foundations of your core beliefs. It's not enough. But I tell you, Jesus is bringing into sharp reality with these words, but I tell you, he's bringing into reality the fact that we can't do it on our own. Our strength our will, our good deeds, our ability to follow the rules and regulations of the Old Testament, they're not enough to bring us back into relationship with God. They're not enough to rectify the damage that's been caused by sin in the world. I really love this passage because it's preparing people's hearts for what Jesus is going to achieve on the cross. And the truth is, it's only by grace that our relationship can be restored with God. When I was reading through this passage, I was also drawn to a fantastic verse in Galatians 2, verse 21. I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness could be gained through the law, if righteousness could be gained through the law, Christ died for nothing. And we know from this passage in Matthew that we cannot gain righteousness through the law. We're not capable of it. But Jesus, who lived a sinless life for perfect life, fulfilled the law so that we can find righteousness through him. And I'm encouraged this morning that the grace of God is enough. And that's what is really standing out to me. It's through Jesus that we find righteousness, right relationship with the living God. I'd just like to pray for us. Lord, as we start this weekend, this, this Saturday morning, I just want to pray that we will be able to rest in your grace this morning. That we will be able to rest and find our satisfaction and find our hope in your grace and let 
our words and our actions and our thoughts, Lord. Let them flow out of the grace that we find in you this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. I hope you have a blessed weekend.